We have a brand new awesome adventure today. I am actually not too far from where I live. I'm with my friend Jim, who's over there already detecting, and we have a great permission. This is actually Jim's sister's house. Uh, well, it's a farm. It's a little farm area. The house right there is like 1900 or so, but just on the other side of it, there was a stone house that dates probably dated back to the 1700s. This was a big plantation uh, back in the day. In fact, there's a cemetery up there on the hill that's uh, pre-Civil War, and supposedly they had like um, 80 slaves or something that worked this plantation. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go where the stone house was. There's nothing left now. I really wanted to detect there. I wanted to start there, but they just told me that where this building was, right here, they're going to fill this in with shale in about 20 minutes. So I figured we might as well come down here and check this out real quick. Now, they think this building's like 1900. There was a concrete uh, slab here, and they're just going to fill it in with shale. So we'll check this real quick. We'll spend five minutes here, and then we're going to go up on the other side of this house, and I'll show you uh, the foundation, what was left of the foundation. And there's a stone line well up there too that uh, we'll talk to the owners about maybe taking the lid off. It's screwed it. There's a lid on it now, but we can't get it off because uh, we have to unscrew some stuff. And that would be great to drop a camera down another day when I bring my camera stuff for the wells. I didn't know they had one. All right, let's get to digging. All right, so this is what we're hunting with today. Uh, the Gear AT Max, gonna turn it on. Uh, zero discrimination, we've got two batteries, but I've got plenty of batteries in my pocket, zero discrimination. They're trying to connect with the headphones, which I have on, but I'm going to leave that off for just now. Uh, just a couple of minutes so you can listen to what's in the ground right here. We'll try to ground balance. Probably won't be able to because there's so much iron here. Yeah, yeah, it's ground balancing. Let's just take a quick listen. I'm not seeing any old pottery, so I'm not real happy with this area. But you never know. All those grunts, that's iron, little bits of iron. That's really dark soil right there, so that's interesting. Iron, those are nails. That might be something that could be a piece of tin though. We're just gonna listen for the really good signals. All right, so let me just look around here. Yeah, see, there's an aluminum nail right there. Here, that's a, that's a roofing nail. Made out of aluminum. Yeah, I don't like it. See, it's another round nails there. Um, I don't think we're going to spend any time here at all, actually. Uh -huh. Okay, we'll dig that one target together, and then we'll go over to where, well, I can see it, maybe. Then we'll go over to where the house is. I thought that was it, but I think it's a rock. Okay, let's see. Of course, I left my shovel against the tree, so we will improvise. Dig it with a rock. What do you say, you know? Here you go. Down to nice darker layers. There it is right there, whatever it is. Looks like a piece of wire, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, so that is wire of some sort. That may or may not be what we heard. Yeah, that's all we were hearing. Because it's that shape, it gives off kind of a good signal. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go to where the house is and dig some uh, giant coins. I think it's going to be a good spot. Okay, so I moved around to the other side of the house. Again, that square portion is the old portion, 1900 or so. This is where the stone house stood right here, and it's really kind of cool. So I think this whole area back here, which would have been in the backyard, is going to be worth checking. And if you look, there's tons of pottery and stuff in here. I have not... Uh, detected this. Jim said he was out here one other time and did find a uh, some type of uh, eagle button. I don't know if it's Civil War or not, but it sounded like maybe it was. Uh, mason jar lid, so it's going to be a lot of junk. It'll be very junky. Now this house has wasn't lived in for at least a hundred years. Uh, once they built that portion, they moved over there. This one just fell apart. Look at that. Ooh, some nice old. Oh, lucky. It's a bottle <laughs> right on the surface. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Man, how did that not get smashed being run over by the bulldozer? Let's just set that right there. Look around just a little bit more. See lots of, this is window glass, this is flat stuff like that. 
Just look to see, it's gonna be a lot of tin. See these nice old bricks? It's an old hinge and door knob. It's kind of a cool old door knob, but that gave us a screamer signal. If it was detected, that's a nice hinge too. Um, but yeah, I like this dark soil like that. Lots of organic matter. Good old pottery. Yeah, that's going. We're going to find some stuff here. The neat thing about this area is I'm very familiar with it, and there are a lot of uh, Confederate Civil War veterans that lived in these houses all around here. So there's a good chance we could find some nice Confederate items. I'm hoping. That's not too old, though, is it? Yeah, that got me some junk. <laughs> Look at that. I'll, just, I'll go ahead and just throw all the junk up against the tree for now, the metal like that. All right, what do you say? Let's try over here. I'm walking over toward my metal detector. I saw this on the ground. It's a piece of, uh, I guess that's copper pipe. It's probably not too old. All right, let me show you what we're gonna do um, as far as setting the machine up. I think we'll have some luck in here. I'm very hopeful with this. Jim. <laughs> it's rather sad. <laughs> Jeb's like, uh, I think you uh, accidentally picked up my headphones. I'm like, oh man, they're my headphones. <laughs> they didn't, they weren't paired with my uh, metal detector, which kind of gave me a little bit of caution. Uh, but yeah, I accidentally picked his up because here's my extra set that was in my <laughs> digging bag. Uh, what a moron. Okay, so let's go ahead and reset it up again. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. I will attempt to ground balance here, but there's no way it's gonna ground balance because I guarantee there's a lot of iron here. But we'll do the best we can. It actually isn't that good. Yeah, okay, we'll go with that. Zero discrimination. Let's take a let's take a listen. What do you say? All those grunts, iron. A lot of iron here, huh? All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bump the discrimination up to say let's go ahead and just knock up to maybe 25. It'll be a lot less noisy. You just hear a lot of like clicks, still some grunts, but not quite as bad. Now, if we put it all the way up to 40, the maximum, no, well, 44 is the maximum, it really quiets it down, but I like to hear a little bit about, you know, what's going on with the iron too. See, there's almost no signals. But I wanna hear some of the uh, more questionable signals. That's, well, I'm just gonna bump it down to uh, eight. All right, well, let's see what we find. So I had a big iron signal here and I went ahead and dug it. So I'm gonna dig some of the big iron uh, to see if there's any type of, well, one to help get a better age on the house and also uh, to see if there's any, it could be bayonets or guns or cannonballs in here, uh, ax heads, things like that. So we'll dig big iron as well for a while. Not sure what that is. It's got a little bit of curvature like a pot, but I'm not sure what that is. I'm going to go ahead and well, I'll put that in my bag. And we're going to make a pile of stuff down there by that tree. Yeah, just a lot of wire. That's like modern, modern wire. Well, let's go ahead and listen to that. Make sure that's all there is. Yeah, that's all there is there. All right. Soon we're going to have treasures like you've never seen before. <laughs> that's where I dug that uh, piece of iron right there. And I got a little tiny squeaker right here and I kicked it. It's in the loose stir. I thought we'd just go ahead and look at that together. Pretty small. Should be right in there. Now, I don't know if we're going to have just a ton of junk in here or not as far as like aluminum foil. Just have no idea yet. All right. Definitely, uh... I know it moves. It's got to be in this loose stuff. Unless that's an... Ah, it's another target maybe? No. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not going to dig with my fingers, don't worry. I think we're I think we're dealing with a couple of different signals. Guys, what I had before, I actually kicked out of the dirt. Let's go ahead and set you up. Sounds like something. Pretty good sound right there. Nice dark soil. That's good. Lots of organic stuff in there. Let's see what we have now. All right, I think maybe it moves. Get the old pinpointer out. There we go. Something there. Of course, with the pinpointer, it could be iron. We just, we just don't know. Ah, 22. It's a 22 casing, rifle casing or pistol casing. That's probably what we heard squeaking. But 
a second squeak, that last squeak when I dug, just sounded a little better than that. So let's double check the hole. That sounds more like the first squeak that I heard. Yeah, see, there's still more there. Or something else there. It's a little bigger squeak, I think. Check that. I can't tell if that's you guys or not, the uh, tripod. Is that it? Yeah, that's probably what we heard the second time. This is actually a nice little artifact. That's a little beauty. Nice patina. So nice old things. Like horse tack, I do believe. Uh, but yeah, I could say that could very easily be Civil War era. All right. So we had the little squeaker that was a 22 bullet and then this first keeper of the day. All right, this was a nice little signal here. I'm suspecting this is, well, I thought it was going to be part of a mason jar lid, but it actually doesn't look round, does it? Yeah, that's what it is. I'm pretty sure that's the inside of a mason jar lid. All right. I'll keep digging these signals because that could easily be, uh, you know, something really sweet. But if this is all we find at that range, we'll give them up for a while and just look for, uh, you know, the heavier brass signals. Still digging around where the uh, house was. And I had a little tiny signal here. I dug it out and I fished around, had it in my hand, lost it, lost it. Um, then I got a better signal and I uh, dug it and moved it and couldn't find it. Then I heard it over here and, well, here's what we got going on. I had a square nail. <laughs> Anyway, so I have a good signal right here. I think it might be the edge of it. And there is another signal over there. That looks like a coin, but it's pretty small in it. Listen, let's listen. Yeah, it is. What's it read? How are you? 81, 84, okay, good. That could be a little coin. And then something pretty good size right here. That's not quite a coin signal, but let's go ahead and take a look at this one. You ready? Are you? Oh, what is it? <laughs> That's a half cent. I do believe that's gonna be an American half cent. Oh, maybe it's a whole cent. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> that's awesome, dude. Ah, I shouldn't rub it yet. And you know what? I'm not gonna uh, rub that off yet. But what we're gonna do is um, put it in the little container. It says, I think it says one cent. That's gonna be nice. We're gonna get good date off of that. Uh, boy, so much stuff. It really didn't. I didn't hear that at first. I just heard something really small that I moved. That's gonna be something different. Let's just throw that over there for now. That's gonna be a beautiful coin, by the way. And uh, let's, get, let's get a feel for this one. Now, that's definitely not gonna be like a, 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 a penny, but that's another good signal there. Oh, this is awesome. I guess I should set you down. I'll tell you what, if I don't get it right now, I'm gonna set you down. Miss something like a pull tab, but okay, it's not up yet. So I'm gonna set you down. That could be a button. Has that pull tabby sound though, but that's what buttons sound like. All right, there's some brick. Lots of nice pottery in there. I probably got it because I didn't think it was too big. I'm gonna have to move you. All right, yep, so. All right, so I kind of lost the signal, so it's probably in here with a bunch of nails. That's just how many nails are it. And something, oh, there it is right there. What is it? It's a light bulb base. <laughs> All right, it's not a light bulb base, but it's a little copper lid. Boy, that looks like it was actually on the surface. See, it's dry right there. We'll put that over there. I guess I hear something there too still. Definitely something here. That was in the same hole as that uh, lid. All right, so there's something buried here. This is a different target. It's looking down that way. I, all right, I probably got it. Look how loose that stuff is. Pull some of this out like that. It's probably under this root, but I think we got it now because it didn't sound like a really, oh, there's some iron right there. I think it was a piece of iron. It didn't sound like it was a nail, but that's not what we were hearing. All right, let's try again. All right, not hearing it, so I moved it. It's being masked by iron. So what we'll have to do is flatten this out a little bit like we did before. Ooh, look at that feather edge. That's nice old stuff right there. 
Boy, we need to just sift this stuff. Yeah, so many pieces of iron in there. So it's, it's in here somewhere. It still could be in the hole, but I'm just gonna have to fan this out. I'll see what it is. Um, we'll get back to you. There's another nail there, but it's not that. Sometimes when they're that shape, that's a brown nail. They can, they can make noises, but that's not what it was. It's, prob it's probably knocked it back down in here because we can't find it. Let's try again. All right. I'm going to dig around for a few minutes, and uh, next good target, I'll just pick up all the nails that I see, too. And, uh, no, there's that little bottle. I better put that in a bag before I forget it. <laughs> put the camera on me. <laughs> yeah, so these are the signals that I hate right here, these mason chart lids, because they sound um, very nice. I mean, they sound like they could be like a, a, a U.S. belt buckle or a breastplate. A little bit lower, actually, than a lot of plates, but you have to dig these things when... Um, you just really should if you can, if you can stand it. So I had a little bit of a sound here, and I was digging up some broken glass and stuff, but then I looked over, and this is probably what I was hearing. I thought that might be part of a saddle at first, but I don't think it is. It's probably part of a lantern or something. I will chuck that in a bag. I wonder what this is all about. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Is that like an old bottle? I bet it is. It's probably like an old container of some sort. I don't know if that's Jet or um, Gouda Percha. Not sure. I'll put that in a bag too. Um, yeah, it seems like every time I get a, a signal, there's like other signals all around it when I start digging. You just hear that iron in there though, huh? See, I think it might be something there too. All right, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scrape back a two or three inches right here over to here, we'll take a listen at that. Okay, so what I did is I actually took a little bit more than that, but we're down to this good stuff right here. That's probably uh, plaster and whatnot. It's a piece of iron here. Looks like some decent old iron, doesn't it? What do you think? Ooh, that's beauty, look at that. That's a hand-forged uh, wiki doodle. It's probably driven in wood and, and bent back over, but it's definitely a hand, little hand-forged item. I love that thing. That's awesome, man. All right. Let's listen to see what we have. I haven't listened to it yet. Lots of iron. Something right here. You notice I put the loop really low? Well, you can kind of hear it still, but if you lift it up, it becomes clearer. Okay, because the cone, the cone of uh, findability is going down. Ah, move that. It's going down, and it's easier to, it kind of discriminates better. You're a little bit further away. Now, uh, that's probably this thing here. That is a doodad dinghy. Looks like a, some type of, uh, it's iron. It looks almost like it might be part of like a, a ringer for a phone maybe. Uh, could be something else though. Put that one over by the tree. We'll pick those up later. That's probably what we we're hearing. Plus this one again. See, it kind of squeaks there every once in a while. We'll lift it up. All right, I'm not really hearing anything for absolute certain, but we'll spread it out a little bit and try it one more time. And what we'll do is uh, I'm going to cover this back up, but before we leave, I'll get a bigger shovel and we'll kind of scrape everything back here because we, we will not hear a coin down four inches if there's five or six nails on top of it. Well, at least chances are we won't. That's exactly what's going on here. <laughs> Got to check one more time. Definitely want to be careful of the broken glass, but I love the feel. I absolutely love the feel of dirt in my fingers and my hands. That's why I don't use gloves when I'm in the dirt normally, unless there's a ton of broken glass. I wear them in the rivers, but not when I'm on land. Yeah. So I just filled the hole in as I was filling it in. This rolled out from where I was sitting. So that's probably the original signal I heard. It was kind of between my knees. And that's a uh, like a base to a light bulb, I guess, or something like that. All right, I'm gonna put that by the tree since we're close to it. And we'll work our way back down that direction. This is one of those days where, you know, it's really hot and then it's really cold. Like I have to go get my jacket again in a minute. I guess the sun goes in and the wind picks up. But anyway, got a beautiful signal right here. 
I think we should dig it together. All right, I kicked the dirt back already. And it's just a sweet little sound right there. It's actually not that small. Um, but this could, this could be something really good. You see it? Do ya? All right, hopefully, oh, dude. So what I'm looking here, now I can tell, I saw this curvature right here, and it looks just like one of those. See that curvature right there? But as you look close, you can see it's iron. So that's gonna be the bowl to a spoon, a great big spoon. That's why I was giving that squeak. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. Oh, look, it's got like a little rivet thing in it. The handle was riveted to it. Wow, it gave me a heart attack when I saw that. All right, we'll check the hole, make sure that's all it was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all it was. There could be something else in there. Yeah, see, I'm getting another signal here, a small one. Maybe one right there. So let's set you up, and we're just going to peel this dirt back like we did. We'll have to check that coin out in a minute. It looks like it's dry, so we can clean it up a little bit better. But what we'll do here, I'm pretty sure there's a signal right here. So we'll just kind of peel this back and kind of go over it. There we go. There we go. I mean, we could have dug up five or six things already. Ah, look at that. That's, it's not, that's a nice deep artifact there. Still going down. Um, I'm seeing things like this pottery coming out of there. There's a lot, you know, these square nails. Uh, but I think there's going to be, and then pieces of bone too. I don't know if you noticed. Uh, but that's like a little piece of bone. It's very porous. All right, so let's go ahead and just listen real quick with metal detector. Iron, iron, iron. Here, lots of iron. So, might still be something there. Okay, so first we just go over it as we dug it. Here's another nail. We'll get rid of that. Put it in the bag. Now we'll just kind of start spreading it out a little bit. Get that layer done. It sounds like something small here. Now that might be something we haven't dug up yet. Yeah, let's see. We haven't dug that one up yet. Piece of iron, but I think it's going to be another good signal right there. Let's listen. Yeah, definitely something there we haven't dug up yet. Maybe there. All right, that's something here for sure. So what I'm gonna do is just peel back about an inch or two, just enough to get it up on the surface, close to the surface. All right. All right, still not up, so it's still bare. Let's just do it by a handful now. Now we could use a pinpointer, but <laughs> I might not even have dug that yet. Uh, but the pinpointer will sound, sound off on iron too. All right, yeah, you know what? That's not that's not something I dug yet. I think that's going to be in the right here too. Let's listen. Nah, maybe not. Nope, there's something here too that didn't come out of that hole. All right, um, we'll spread that out some more. But let's go ahead and dig this thing real first. This is probably the the better signal that I'm hearing that less likely to be iron. I should have gotten it. All right, you have to pick you up again. All right, so that's right there, right in the middle, right here. Oh yeah, <laughs> not hearing it. Okay, so it's in my hand, so I just dumped that out right there. Eh, that's not it. Let's see if it's in here. Yeah, okay, so it's in here. You see it? It's gonna be like a little button or something, I think. I don't see anything yet, though. It's one of these three clumps. Not that clump. It's in this clump. Very small. That's probably it right there. You can see the outlines. It's kind of roundish. Yeah, that's it. Let's see what it is. Probably a rivet, huh? I think it's a rivet. All right, so that is a, if I had to, ah, had to guess, this is a like lead head off of a nail, a roofing nail. That's what that is. You can see how it, that back is all torn up like that. And this side is smooth, but flattened. That's a roofing nail. In fact, when we were at the other little place down there when we first started, there was one laying on the ground down there. All right, so that's one of the signals. There's another, another something there. Let's dig this up. That's a lot bigger, whatever this is. 
This could actually be iron. Oh yeah, all right, that probably got it. Unless it's a giant piece of iron. Yeah, piece of iron right there, look. So it's probably like a uh, cooking pot, piece of a cooking pot. Probably what we were hearing. More iron there. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn, well, let's go look at this uh, 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 coin over here real quick. Blah, 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 coin real quick. I was gonna say button. All right, this is the coin that we dug a little bit ago. What I wanna do is it's pretty dry right now, so I think we can rub on it some without uh, getting the detail off. So I'm gonna just kind of scrape it a little bit like that and the heavy stuff off. If you do this when it's wet, you'll lose some of the detail. Now I would never do this with a silver coin. But you have to do this with these uh, copper bronze coins. All right, so just rub it just a little bit. Um, yeah, so let's see what we got, huh? You see it? Coming out, I'm gonna set you down. Okay, so I set you down and I started the camera again. All right, so we're just gonna rub on this a little bit, not too much right now. On fairly dry fingers. Some of that detail out, get the date off of it for sure. Oh, looky. What is that, 1835 maybe? 1838, I guess. That's an 1838 large scent. It's actually gonna be in pretty good shape. Back looks good. Just knock a little bit of the dirt off of it. Just a little, there you go. Again, just gonna rub it again, keep the fingers dry, just kind of give it a little rub. There you go. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it like that for right now, but that's a uh, United States large scent, 1833 or eight, I can't really say. Nice coin. So, so oh yeah, you got some coins too. Um, so they would be like post, what, 1963 or four, or something like that? Yeah, that's because they'd be silver if they were. I think one's in 76 and one's in 88. Were you born yet in those uh, years? 77, so. 77? Yeah, you could terrible. be my son. <laughs> well, not really. <laughs> God, I'm getting old. Yeah, I dug that large scent right over there, and I haven't even been off the side of the hill right here yet, so anywhere. Yeah, I mean, that's about it, really, but you know, a lot of those uh, little heads of the uh, nails, roofing yeah. nails, they're lead ones, you know? Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, you gotta dig them, because it could be a nice little cuff button or something. Let's dug this beautiful uh, hinge. That's a beauty, look at that. Nice hand forge. You can look at the little teardrop tip on it. Boy, I love that thing. I'll set it up against the tree for now. Along with my other juke. But we'll keep that for sure. Another big iron signal. And looky here. Giant spike. I don't know what part of house construction they would use that in. That's a beauty too, huh? <laughs> I think somebody was digging here before us. All these holes, they're not mine, so. I fill mine back in. All right, put that there for now. Oh, almost broke the bottle. I just dug this weird little thing on my bob. Um, it was actually right on the surface, but it's a piece of lead, thick lead, with a nut and bolt through it. Don't know how old that nut and bolt is, or how old the lead is, but <laughs> it's pretty cool though. I don't know why, what that would have gone to. Kind of strange, isn't it? Because lead's very soft. Now, this is a really interesting little signal. Now, again, somebody dug these rocks out. Well, that's a big rock that's dug out, but I don't know if they were look, looking for metal detecting or if they just dug them out. But beautiful signal right here. High, high pitched signal. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. Now, unfortunately, it could be a giant piece of iron or it could be a nice Civil War belt buckle right there. I'm gonna move these rocks. We'll get down a little bit closer and then I'll get you back out. Promise you on that. I checked it with a pin pointer and I could tell it was pretty deep, so I pulled some rocks out and still in a hole, sounds good, but I can see it right there. Looks like a Vienna sausage tin. Actually, it's not a Vienna sausage tin, but it's not a good metal. At least not a metal I would associate with uh, Civil War era stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig that. Well, I'll just set you up. Probably not gonna be too exciting, but we'll just dig it together. If it was exciting, I would not be digging like this, trust me. Did they hit it already? All right, there it is right there. Is it the same thing or is that a different one? Well, I don't know if that's the same one or not. <laughs> already lost track of it. Probably a piece of a car or something. All right, here we go. 
lid off of the container. I'm not even going to be careful with it because I can't imagine it's anything we're going to be happy with. All right. Boy, it's a hubcap. They make out what it is. And you... I don't know what that design is. Um, not sure. Oh well. I probably see it on this side. Let me clean that out. It's like gold, doesn't it? So uh, I'll take you a picture of that and we'll try to figure out what that went to here after a bit. You just found this, huh? Yeah. That's really cool. That's, uh, you think it's like a brooch or something? I think like so. A, the hinges yeah. still attached. Or some too. type of jewelry. Yeah, the hinges still attached. Yeah. I think those are real diamonds. Is that a Christmas tree? Oh, no. be. That's pretty awesome. Not as awesome as my find, though, right? Good. That's what I'm thinking. Look. Wow. Isn't that cool? That is beautiful. Yeah. 1838. Yeah. Is, that's it a, is it a, It's an American thing? large scent. Wow. That looks beautiful. Yeah. You want it? If you don't want it, I would love well, it. Well, I like it, but I'm going to give it to you. But let <laughs> really? me keep it for a little bit yeah, because I want to take that. a picture of it for the video. Yeah. But yeah. That's a beautiful. Oh, that is very kind yeah, of you. just um, you know, I wouldn't clean it too much more than that. If you put water on that, you lose a lot of detail. Okay. So I wouldn't really clean it too much more than that. Okay. But yeah, I'll take a picture of it, and it's all yours. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Might be a hundred more in here, right? Probably. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> that's where I dug the hubcap right there. I got a big iron signal over here and dug it up, and found this. Do you know what it is? Do ya? I'll tell you the end of the video. I might actually could use, could use this one. <laughs> I'm gonna put it over here beside the tree for now. I had a nice, kind of a decent signal here, but not great, so I dug it up, but it's turned into a pretty decent signal. It's kind of small, reading kind of high on the meter, so I'm hoping it's gonna be a coin. Oh no. <laughs> well, it's a coin composition, and probably weight, piece of copper wire. Darn, oh well. <laughs> Now this, my friend, is a screamer of a signal right here. Look at that. High 80s, low 90s, it's not huge. So I have very high hopes for something being right here, not very deep. Let me set you up. Could be a silver coin. Some other treasure. <laughs> it actually does sound pretty good, whatever it is. I think that would have gotten it. Well, look at that beautiful pottery in there. Yeah, it's behind just not a coin actually, but it's a piece of copper or something. Yeah, I can see the edge of it. Looks like it's double copper, so don't have high hope. Boy, it's heavy though. Wow. A little pulley of some sort. I guess, huh? Yeah, that's what it is. This is a little pulley. Looks like it's it's made out of good metal. That's why it was giving such a sweet sound. Let's keep going. See a little wormy in here. Don't see any buttons or gold coins. You never know. I'm digging over in this area where there's a lot of old bricks, but it's also a lot of junk. I'm digging a lot of junk in here. And you see this tile right here, this drain tile is not that old. Lots of glass. I just dug a tooth, a tooth, a tooth to a sickle bar more. And um, I saw something over here that looked kind of interesting off to the side. Do you see it? Oh, here it is. Probably something electrical, I guess. What is that? Yeah, probably. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to stick then. I mean, it looks like there's some old stuff in here, but there's just so much of this junk. I think we'll do better um, going back across here and then maybe up in the yard. Pile's growing. That's, that's kind of odd. Sam Skinner, number, number two, two Shepherdstown, West Virginia. I wonder what that's from. That's aluminum, isn't it? Uh, I think it is. Yeah, it'd be aluminum. Yeah. I knew a. a, a uh, a Skinner that was a, a teacher in Shepherdstown when I was in junior high would have been in the 70s, but huh. could be the same guy. I don't know. That would be neat, wouldn't you it? You have to return yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> if it's the same, well, yeah, actually, he was pretty young in the 70s, so he's probably still around. That'd be awesome. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty wild. <laughs> Find his gold watch next. Yeah, that'd be nice. What do you one. say? <laughs> so I moved a little bit out of this area and decided to try over here in the yard, and a lot of junk, but I just dug this and looks i don't know what i mean it's it's iron i mean it's not that cool but it looks almost like it might be something to a musical instrument or stand or something you think 
maybe <laughs> i don't know there's a lot of junk up here light bulb base light bulb bases and of course broken glass everywhere that's really thin glass right there boy wow i'll be careful i promise so i just dug this little piece of iron that um although it doesn't look like much it almost looks like it could be part of a bell i'm thinking like a dinner bell you might ring you know clang 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 that you have on the uh porch or on a pole out back i think that's what that might be could be totally off but pretty sure that's what i heard it was down pretty deep not as much in the way of artifacts here but there are some weird rocks it looks almost like there might have been a building in this area right here so we're going to dig around just a little bit longer and uh, then we'll probably go back over where the uh the dark dirt is awesome so i think we have a horsey shoe a little one this would be like to a uh, wow it is a little guy <laughs> look at that that's definitely a uh that's really flat too which is unusual uh like a riding horse probably or a pony something pretty small that's an old one right there i think i like it yeah that's pretty cool you can see it's well worn huh mm -hmm. nice leather would do that isn't it um yeah that might i don't know if that's leather or not so there's some other stuff <laughs> look at that that's your flashlight yeah. wow nothing amazing huh boy could get rid of that thing this is something that just <gasps> kind of that was almost cool is that for like a suspender maybe um it's, it's a it's a buckle i think a, a, a wide cloth uh, cloth strap would go on through there yeah. uh decorative that's actually pretty cool. I mean, pretty cool. Yeah, I like yeah. that. That's, that's a nice little find. No one, man. Yeah. I mean, it's got some designs on it. You might mm. be able to figure it out. Yeah. All right. It's about like me, Mr. Skinner. I guess that's off of a like a window or something, maybe. What this thing? Yeah. I don't think it's a bucket. Oh, okay. I think it's iron. You know, it's going to be the inside of the bucket there. But I'm not 100, percent but the yeah, I find out. That's pretty cool. See, I'm Like a bean pot, maybe. Um, square holes. Well, no, maybe not. Probably not. Like yeah. Piece of farm equipment. Yeah, I would say, especially with that type of embossing on it. Huh. All right. So far, so good. <laughs> what all have you found? Have you found anything? <laughs> Same. Well, I got a little baby horseshoe. I mean, it's part of my. Well, that cute, yeah, it's isn't it? cute, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, I haven't found any, like, flat buttons yet, which is really surprising. But I think what I'd like to do um, before we quit is get a, like, slightly bigger shovel. Just kind of dig around over there. Right. Dark area is. You just kind of flip it over a little bit and look around. Yeah. Uh, I think it's probably some more stuff right in there. Older stuff. All right, a little bit longer. Just a little bit. So from what I understand, there's a well right here. A stone line well. And if it's really cool, I want you to tell me if we should come back and drop cameras down in there so we can see all the muskets and bayonets and cannonballs and little bags of gold dust in the bottom. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Look at that. Can you see how far down the water is? I can I can see the reflection, but oh, that's way down there, dude see a stone line so this is the old well old house stood right there what do you think should we come back i think we should we just took a little break and we're looking inside this old building and there's a really cool stove and i'll show you a couple things that they found when they're tearing down these buildings but look at this beast isn't that wild <laughs> it's like a wood stove i mean it looks so like industrial it must have been like a boiler or something at one time see these big heavy rivets in it Stuff uh, was welded there. What do you think that was? Oh, he's gone. <laughs> I thought that was really cool. Apparently, this is some of the stuff that they dug out of the yard. Yeah, there's some big old hinges. You can see that, uh, that was burning. Yeah, kind of like the hinges I found. Oh, look. Yeah, this is cool. Let's check this out, man. People find these all the time, and you've seen them in my videos. They think that they're uh, topped to like uh, flag staffs that the soldiers would carry into battle or in a parade or whatnot. You know, they'd have their battle flags on top that have a design. Sometimes it was an eagle or whatnot. You find these all the time. There's actually a better one over here. It's actually a lightning rod tip, and they made these in all different shapes and sizes. But here's a nice one right here. 
Uh, so you will find these when you're metal detecting around old houses. And that's what it is. It's just part of a lightning rod. That's the tip. This is the heavy cable that would have gone down into the ground and uh, been buried for the ground. Yeah, here's another style right here. And I actually have some of these at the house. I've showed these in my videos, but I'll show you these too. That's another style that you find that people think that are going flagstaffs, but they're not. <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? Kind of pretty though, huh? Ooh, spooky. Okay, let's, oh, let's check this out. In farmer types will know what this is, but this is a, uh, this is a little watering pan for like cows. Uh, you'd have these in barns and uh, maybe horses, but you know, I grew up with cows. So uh, they would come by and push down on that to get a drink and go, psh, the water would come out and fill, that, psh, and fill it up and they could drink that way. Some pulleys, we found a piece of a pulley today. These are, these are what's called snowbirds. You know, it fell off, but it kind of looks like that little thing we found earlier, snowbirds. These are really like cheap ones, but this goes on a house on a metal roof so that when you get a bunch of snow on it, it doesn't slide off and come crashing to the ground like a ton of snow at a time and crush you. Um, I've actually seen that happen with ice and stuff where it's very dangerous. But that's a snowbird. Um, okay, let's get back to digging what he said. A few more minutes anyway. I thought it was maybe a broken coin at first, but I don't think that's oh, what it that's is. Oh, that's wild. Yeah, it's, it's melted. I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. Feel the weight of it, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, definitely like lead or pewter. Huh. The reed's pretty good. Hey, I can't tell if this, with that line like that, I'm not sure if it's melted, but I guess it is melted. Hmm. That's pretty cool. I was thinking sure it was a coin. Yeah, I missed that. Yeah. I went right over that, man. <laughs> All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I came back to this spot where we kind of first started and um, uh, not getting a whole lot of good signals in there, a lot of iron. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just rake back maybe six or eight inches of dirt and just go over it again and go over it a couple times and see what we can find. Because I suspect there's stuff down there uh, that we just can't hear because there's so many nails on top. Let me rake some back and we'll let you listen. Okay, I uh, had the camera on, was running, did a little scene, but uh, the camera, I'm pretty sure goofed up. So let me show you what I did. What we're doing is we're just kind of digging some of the dirt out I'm gonna pull it back and then check it with a metal detector because I suspect because there's so many nails in here that we're not hearing the stuff that's way on the bottom. Oh, dude, <laughs> that is, that's, that's, that's hilarious. I was just down in the barn. Well, you, you saw the video. I was just down in the barn saying how these people find these things that they think are flag toppers, you know, from the soldiers marching into battle, but that you can find them around old house sites and what they really are, of course, is lightning rods. Well, guess what? This is really weird, man. There's one right there. What? Look at that! Looks like a turkey foot. That's a Confederate flag topper. I can tell by looking at it. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, isn't that wild? I dug one in a uh, video about two years ago in a home site. It looked exactly like that. But see, you know what? I don't know if you went over this, but I didn't. I didn't hear that. And this is solid, you know, solid brass. That wasn't even down that far, but there's so much iron on top that you just can't hear it. You can see, like his pieces of tin can right there, and you saw all the nails I just dug out of here. Didn't even hear that. That could have been a U.S. belt buckle, well, you know? Can I see that? Yeah, sure. It's beauty, isn't it? It is. It's in... Yeah. Huh. Because that's probably going to be a like Confederate you... flag topper. <laughs> wow. Well, lightning rod stuff. <laughs> Pretty sure. Huh. I don't know, since I found it, maybe, we, maybe it is a flag topper. Maybe that's what we'll call it. <laughs> it's lightning rod. <laughs> okay, so I took my headphones off for just a minute so you can hear what I'm hearing. And let's see if there's any, like, gold coins in here. What do you say? All right. And zero discrimination. Lots of iron. Not yet. I actually have a magnet in the truck. Might be something there. Could be my shovel. Uh, but maybe when we're done, I'll just bring the magnet out, just magnet out just for the heck of it. I might not have dug that one up yet. Maybe something there. 
Okay, I'm not hearing anything that says coin, 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 or button, 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 but lots of iron in here. So I'm gonna dig some more out and we'll check it again, and then we'll get the magnet out of the truck, and uh, just, just for the heck of it, and then check it once we get all the nails out. All right, so you got a good signal. All right, That's, oh, you're getting 60s, okay, what is it? And you basically did the same thing. Uh, just moving the dirt back. Is that it? Let's Looks like a little piece of pewter, maybe, but I, boy, I tell you, it sounded like it was bigger than that to me. Is that it? Yeah, it's like, it's like a little, uh, it's copper or whatever. Oh, it says zipper. It's part of a zipper. <laughs> Dude. That one, let me. You check that, make sure we didn't miss it. That's what that was. That's probably a light bulb base or something. Yeah. Oh, look at all the iron. <laughs> That's awesome. Tell you what, right, I'm gonna go ahead and up to my truck and get a magnet real quick, just yeah. to run it over there and just to see what, the, what those iron uh, nails look like. Okay, so I went and got my pick. Um, I don't have my big magnet. I just thought we'd go around and get out a few pieces of this iron anyway. Yeah, a bunch of nails. Probably should have cloned that thing is. All right, so we've got at least a clump of nails out of there. Now let's try it to be a little bit quieter. Probably not a lot though. That's my shovel. There's still a lot of nails in there. Okay, got a great little squeaker here. I already dug the hole, but look at that. That's a great little signal. I tell you, that's not something good. I'm a monkey's uncle. If I've uh, actually dug it up yet or not. Shit. No, not yet. Oh, what is it? It's brass for sure. I can see it. What is that? <laughs> See, it's right there. You can see a piece of brass. It looks like a little ball or something. Let me readjust ya. Hopefully it's not too close. It's a good color though, isn't it? It's a really good color. What is it? Yeah, it's not a belt buckle. What is it? Oh, man, that thing's heavy. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be anything too great, is it? Oh, you know what? I think it might be like part of a trunk or something, maybe? A lock, locking mechanism, maybe? Not really sure. Actually, I have no idea now. Okay, it's got that hollow on the end. It's got something here that, boy, I suspect that used to slide at one point. Something didn't right here. That thing is. Really heavy duty. No idea what it is. Hmm. All right. So we're gonna look around for just a few more minutes and we're gonna have to hit the road. <laughs> I'm not gonna say Jack, Jack. So this was another screamer of a signal. I got you out because I thought it might be something good, but this is the doodad right here. Boy, it looks almost like a boar brush. Uh, they made these things that look very similar to this during the Civil War. Uh, and we had bristles coming out to uh, clean carbine, carbines or carbines. But I've also found these along railroad tracks. Uh, so I suspect it might be something to do with some type of electrical stuff. Probably pretty old, but electrical and not uh, Civil War related. Okay, so I think it's getting late enough in the day that I'm going to say adios. I'm going to clean this up a little bit, put everything back in order, and um, go do something else maybe. Now, I want to thank you guys for hanging out with us today. And don't forget, if you enjoy these videos, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment. Comments are always good too. Makes a chick happy. I like it when the chick's happy. You got something? <laughs> I'm just giving up. <laughs> What'd you get? Wee penny, God, it looks too big. I guess I need my eyes checked, huh? That's pretty nice, though. I thought it was an Indian at first, but no. Yeah, it looked kind of weird when I first saw it, too, but. 1916, maybe? That's nice patina on it. Yeah, 1916. 1916. Congratulations, man. That's awesome. Probably a whole stack of them in there with walking liberties and halves. and It's going to be awesome, man. <laughs> 
Well, if we find anything else, I'll get you back out. But if not, don't forget, like and subscribe. Make the chick happy. We'll see you in the next one. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets. She's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. And I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets. She's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in